Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm over here in South Carolina and I'm, I'm traveling around the country fixing medical equipment. And, and you know, there's one thing that you always have to have on you and that's your computer. And I don't know about you, but most modern day computers are a little flimsy to say the least. I mean, they're fine if you're going to and from work maybe and uh, leaving it on your desk, maybe going to your couch, that's fine. But when you're traveling around the country going in and out of medical facilities, carrying equipment with you. Sometimes a regular laptop just won't hold up and they're lacking in some very severe features that maybe you wish you had. And that's why I'm gonna show you this product right here. An actual ruggedized laptop, my G-Tech, that I got for a steal of a deal. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, this is the G-Tech B300 G4 ruggedized laptop, and it is an absolute beast. Now, these laptops originally sold for about $5,000. It's got rubberized ruggeding. It's got massive latches. Look at that latch. Spring-loaded, very firm. It's got removable panels on the corners and, and look how it's got fasteners all the way around so you can open it up if you did have to service it now these were sold to military that's the green and also police and there's a whole series of them online right now for sale and i got this guy for three hundred dollars mind you it originally sold for five thousand dollars or roughly depending on the options there's a whole bunch of configurable options that you can request when you buy these on the used market so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, probably one of the most prominent things that you're noticing is this handle. And look how the handle stows. It's extremely rugged, extremely rugged. I mean, look how thick that is. And you got waterproof speakers. And this whole computer, by the way, is waterproof. It is waterproof. So um, you're gonna see a trend on that. It's got panels on the outside that hide uh, certain features. So yeah, let's open this up. It's kind of designed so that when the computer's closed, these will not open up on you. Come on. It is particularly hard to do this with one hand. Okay. These ones are easy. This one here is the hard drive, which is a SATA drive. And it's not playing well at the moment uh, because on this side here, uh, it's waterproof and it's got a seal, so you gotta kinda of press in and press that up. And I got one hand, and I can't exactly do that right now, guys. But you get it, it's a SATA hard drive. You can replace this. Uh, currently it's got a 500 gigabyte SSD inside it. Now you're gonna see some eSATA ports. I think this is a PCM CIA slot. Yeah, how cool. PCM CIA, you can still do some cool stuff. These are USB 3.0 and they're also, um, Let's see, those are eSATA ports. So they're multifunction ports, they're USB 3.0 and they're eSATA, kinda cool. Let's see, I think we got Firewire, we've got HDMI, you've got um, a memory card reader, which I really dig having that on board. You've got a physical connection for audio, which is kinda cool because sometimes in the field, I want to test out my audio and a lot of modern day laptops are not coming with 3.5 millimeter jacks. Kind of irritating. And right here is the Wi-Fi on off. So you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi. And if you don't need the ports, you can close them. Notice how they got this rubberized seal right here. And when you push it down, you close it. It is waterproof now. Let's keep migrating around. You have right here ethernet and it has an integrated modem. I have no idea what speed it is, but it's analog modem. It came with a brand new power supply. Kind of cool. So whoever's reselling these, they good on you, man. It came with a brand new power supply. I have the power jack, and let's see, another USB 3.0 jack, pretty cool. Notice the ruggedized corners, which is usually where a laptop's gonna get damaged, and they're replaceable, how crazy. Really stiff joints, and if you can't tell, 
this laptop is almost like brand new and I got it for $300. How crazy. Normally, right here, you're going to have a lot of flex. This is metal. It feels like anodized aluminum and they're obviously um, tension joints. You know, there's like a, a torsion spring or something in there or there's a high viscous fluid and that is what's keeping it up. Very, I mean, if you're in a car and driving around, you don't have to worry about this flopping around. It's going to stay exactly where you left it. So let's continue down. Let's see, we got the USB 3.0 and uh, this one here is an interesting port. Check out this. Now this is some of the features that I really dig the most about this laptop, all right? Um, you have the option, I believe, over here. I, I think that is another network jack, I'm not really sure. Um, this right here is for a dock, so that you can actually put this in a dock, like if you're in a vehicle, or if you want some uh, port expansion. You have VGA, which is super important. So I got HDMI and I've got VGA. I've got both of them coming out of this laptop. Extremely rare, almost impossible to find on modern day laptops. But there's still many, many medical systems that input, output, VGA. And if you need to test them, you can test them with this because you have both of them right here. It's so cool. And you guys are probably noticing right next to it, I have two serial ports. And my gosh. This is one of the biggest advantages of this laptop, guys. Serial ports are, don't come on any laptops anymore. But the cool thing about serial ports is that a lot of medical devices send and receive in uh, serial. And you can capture that data with a serial port without having to worry about the uh, USB converter dongle, which those things do have problems. One of the problems is when you plug it into a new USB port, the COM port always changes. So let's say I install software in this laptop. I don't know. Let's say for the uh, Alaris system, if I'm calibrating Alaris pumps, I can actually set it up on this COM port. And it, as long as I plug into this port, it will always stay the same COM port on this laptop versus, you know, I've, I've got two USBs over here and then one here. If I move my dongle here, next time I set up my laptop and plug it here, now I got to go back inside the software and change the COM port. That's so frustrating. I really dig that I have native serial ports on this and two of them. So technically I could get two softwares running at the same time and I can double my output. Kind of a cool thing. Let's see. You have your traditional Kensington lock and uh, look at this heavy duty standoff right there. Again, it is a waterproof port. So you just push that up, close it with the latch, which I can't do because I have one hand. Look at that, extremely thick bezel on that laptop, man. That is crazy. And it's got, see these lugs right here? These, these lugs actually lock into the frame. So if it does impact on a corner, it transfers the tension to the lug and not to the hinge. That's actually how a lot of hinges break is from the torsion of the screen during an impact. They thought of that. How cool. Look at that heavy duty latch, by the way. Very heavy. Okay, uh, battery. Kind of cool. Replaceable battery. Oh my gosh, guys. Anyway, uh, you can have a spare battery on your person. So if you're working out in the field, you can change out the battery and keep on trucking. This is an extremely low, uh, low power CPU. It's very efficient and it doesn't generate that much heat because of that. And all you do is you lift this up, flip that down, and there's a, a strap. You pull the strap on the battery, pulls it out. You can slap in a new battery, close it, and you're off to the races again. I love the fact that it has replaceable batteries. That extends the life of this laptop so long. And let's see, under the last one, I have a CD drive. Many, many medical devices still come with optical media. That is huge. And there's another huge thing right here, just in case anybody's interested. It has a SIM card, it's got 4G. It's got native 4G on here. So I can take the, the SIM card out of my phone, pop it in here, and now I have internet on my computer out in the middle of nowhere. Very cool stuff. So we're back to the heavy duty handle and then let's go right here. I will show you guys that it has a fingerprint reader. So we have biometrics. So you guys know that we have a lot of secure data. You can actually set this guy for like a one minute timeout and then just roll your finger across this guy right here and you are back up and going. How cool. And it, of course, has a dust port. 
Now, the standard um, touchpad right here, this is a Synoptics uh, touchpad. It's okay. It's all right. You know, I, I prefer external mice, like no matter where I go, just because I'm more effective. Um, but this guy here is kind of small. It does work. I just turn up the sensitivity on the screen. And uh, it, it's, I mean, considering this is a used laptop, it actually is fantastic. And you can do a mouse wheel on the side. It's okay. Um, it does the job. Notice the keyboard. Now the keyboard is going to be one of the major detractors for a lot of people, but it's actually a plus for me. So it, it is a membrane keyboard. Notice that it is in fantastic condition. It is more difficult to type on this keyboard, but what's the biggest advantage? If you are in the field and you are working on medical equipment, you might not always have the cleanest hands and you might want to be able to wash your laptop. This is a waterproof laptop. You can take one of those sanitary rags and wipe this down, even though, you know, I still wear gloves and stuff everywhere and I don't touch my computer when my hands are contaminated, but still, peace of mind. You can wipe this guy down. It has a nice heavy duty screen, nice heavy duty waterproof keyboard. Up at the top, we have a power button, P1, we have an eco button, we have a brightness, and we have a light bulb. Crazy. I don't know what that is. Doesn't even matter. And we've got some status lights up here. But the cool thing is we also have the same status lights down here. Pretty interesting, huh? It does have onboard Bluetooth. It does have uh, 5G Wi-Fi. All that is preloaded. Oh, that's caps lock and all those. And your microphone's right here. Now, I don't see a camera on this guy. So there's no onboard uh, camera which means eh, you got to take a webcam with you or just use your phone in conjunction with the laptop. But that, that is the computer. Let's go ahead and boot her up. And you can see it's got a uh, reasonably bright screen and everything is pretty, pretty uh, sharp. Hold on, just one moment. Let me take this down and I'll show you guys the resolution. Okay, so you can see right here, we got 1024 by 768. That is the resolution. I know some of you guys are cringing, but think about most of the things that you are gonna do when you're working on medical equipment. You are not gonna be using a 4K display anyway. And if anything, I kind of dig it because since it is a lower resolution screen, it is still very easy for me to read. The lines that you're seeing on this is because of the shutter speed difference versus the refresh rate. I do not see any of that. It's actually very, very bright. In fact, I had to turn it down because it was so bright. My camera didn't like it so much. Let's go ahead and shut this guy off. And I'll show you guys some stats on the laptop itself. So that is the GTEC B300 G4 Core i5. 16 gigs of memory, plenty. It has the 500 gig um, internal SSD. And uh, it's got Windows 10 preloaded and it was fantastic. So it was a seamless process. And I just came in and I offered him uh, $300 instead of the $333. He took my bid and we are good. That's Global PC Parts on eBay. So guys, I just wanted to show you all my beastie little laptop. And the cool thing is when you're in the field, you can strap this right to your tool bag. You can uh, carry it around with the handle. It's extremely heavy duty. It stands up when you put it down because of the feet on the bottom. It's very interesting. Um, you don't have to worry about active cooling. Uh, because it does have good thermal dissipation and that's part of the reason it's so heavy is because it, it doesn't have uh, active fans that I can feel. This is a beast of a laptop built for military and industrial and commercial environments. So if you are looking for a laptop for in the field maintenance, $300, you can't beat that. I mean, this, this guy is an absolute beast of a laptop and it looks almost like it's brand new. And I thought, you know something, I'm going to set it up for all my favorite uh, medical programs. And I do uh, some serial port capture and stuff, you know, for HL7. And I, I, you know, every once in a while I, I do some CNC work and whatnot. So this laptop also for a CNC is perfect because you don't have to worry about dust. Dust, it gets under the keyboard, it gets in the cooling fans, it messes up computers so bad. This laptop is absolutely perfect if you're in a commercial environment like a CNC shop. You don't have to worry about dust getting inside it. It's so cool.
And in, in a medical environment, you can wash almost the entire laptop. If you wanted, you could you could douse the whole laptop underneath, I think it's uh, IP60 something uh, rating. It's, it's, you can spray a hose at this thing. It'll be absolutely fine. That's the G-Tech. Go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the video description. And uh, $300 is all I paid for it. I think it's a steal of a deal considering that this guy here can go all around the country with me and I don't have to worry about my laptop getting all boogered up. Think about that. Thanks for watching, guys.